Good morning, and welcome to the Embedus servers demonstration. We're going to demonstrate using Embedus on the ESP8266 Wi-Fi platform to configure your project and Wi-Fi settings using Embedus through either a web browser interface, a telnet interface, or the serial monitor. To install the Embedus library in the Arduino IDE, use the Library Manager. Search for the Embedus library and click Install. The Embedus Server's example sketch is under the Embedus ESP8266 platform examples. Open the server's example and set your board type and serial port under the boards menu. When you upload your sketch, don't forget to also run the sketch data upload, which uploads the file system necessary for the web server. This file system is only 128k bytes, so it fits in the smallest flash modules. Next, Open the serial monitor and you will see the log channel output from the Embedded servers. Note that the MAC ID of the Wi-Fi unit is displayed as well as the password for the Embedded servers. The password is a simple Base64 hash of the MAC ID. This simple authentication is intended just to prevent a workshop full of users from colliding with one another. It's not intended to be any kind of real security. Next, we can enter the Embedded commands command, which will show you a list of commands. And if we ask for the keys that are in the Embedus database, uh, we'll see there are no keys because this is a, a brand new unit and nothing has been established yet. Finally, I'll ask to uh, read the Wi-Fi hardware command, which will show us the state of the Wi-Fi. And it shows that we're acting as an access point right now, and so we're ready to connect from an Android tablet. So the first thing we need to do in the Android tablet is uh, connect to the ESP8266 as an access point. And uh, once we do that, it will ask us for authentication, and that is that Base64 hash of our MAC ID. Again, not very secure, but just enough to prevent a room full of users from colliding from e with each other if you're trying to run a workshop. So once you've entered that, uh, your unit will connect uh, to the ESP as an access point. And then once we do that, we can connect to the internal Wi-Fi um, web server uh, via the internal Wi-Fi. And uh, we do that uh, by entering the address uh, 192.168.4.1, uh, which is the default address. And once we do that, we're presented with a, a web page uh, with a command line where we can actually enter commands. Now, of course, once we do that, the web server is going to ask us to authenticate a second time. Again, this is using the same password. Uh, but it's just a little bit of added security if somebody manages to get on there, they can't change your settings. Uh, again, not completely secure, but uh, good enough for running a workshop. Uh, so once you authenticate a second time for the web server, um, then you can enter uh, standard commands, all the Embedus commands. Um, in fact, we have commands uh, that allow you to do interpretive Arduino commands, like set a pin mode of a pin, uh, set digital write, uh, digital read, analog write, analog read, um, and actually exercise the unit and do some debugging uh, directly through the uh, web browser interface. And so that makes it very usable and uh, you can actually access it uh, from your cell phone or your tablet um, just uh, via the Wi-Fi. And uh, that allows you to control your project settings, uh, put your project settings in and uh, change things like uh, which LED is assigned or your, your SSID, your password, as I'm doing here, I'm setting the uh, SSID and password. And that's our little Embedus demo. Thank you very much.